tafaka hua whanau. Ko te rahano e tēnei rā. Let's do the photos of the week. Hawaii! this week I've got a question for you this photo here is it fire or is it water what's your guess let me know I'm gonna let you know at the end it just might surprise you hey and great news first of all let me say congratulations to my daughter Elise and her partner Dante I'm gonna be a quarter to a baby little tane a little pepe it's during November so really excited for these guys and they're really excited too because they were picking it was gonna be a boy and sure enough it's gonna be a boy and then I've got a few photos here from the Wellington Indoor Riding School I tend to spend a bit of time there feeding the horses and so forth so it's pretty cool taking photos of horses I find them really challenging really tricky to take photos of so it's always nice to just keep trying and practicing and also showing people connecting with their animals. It's great to see. People should all love animals. They give us so much joy and satisfaction and companionship and fun and all the rest of the stuff that comes with having a great connection with animals. And then over the weekend we went into town for dinner one night so I grabbed a few shots out and about. It's always good taking photos at night time because it's really challenging. Things like the ISO setting can really muck up your whole shoot but it's also a great challenge because it's often easy to take the easy option to shoot in perfect light to shoot in perfect conditions so it's nice sometimes to step outside that and challenge yourself except i did have a challenge during the week which i'll share with you another time we're just mucking around here oh this is the communal table and on the waterfront it wasn't just me there's the wife she's mucking around too so it was good fun we had a lovely dinner and a great night out and then it was back to the birds you know shooting the pee waka waka i'm really getting into these pee waka wakas because they're so fast and this little pee waka rocket is just taking off launching vertical into the sky i'm just really hanging out for one of them to spread the tail so i can get that fan tail at the back and actually taking the pictures of these pee waka wakas led me to this shot here the pee waka rocket i threw that together on photoshop the creative inspiration was my wife. She gave me the suggestion, so I did it. And here's just a couple of shots from around the place. A bit of a country outlook. And I love the shadow and shade in that first shot. And here's a shot of the Blue Bridge just coming into the city. Sailing in. Beautiful. And then also during the week, I filmed this clip here. It's a frame rate race. It was basically just showing a comparison between 25 frames, 50 frames, 100 frames, to 200 frames per second. I actually thought the jogger or the runner would win. I was mistaken. Walking at 25 frames per second is way faster than sprinting at 200. And then, as always, as usual, it's back to the walk to work. And it always surprises me that when it's raining, there's no one around. But on a sunny day, everybody's out. Just where do they all go when it rains? That is the head scratcher of the day. And I got this lovely panorama just showing a city of two halves, you know, the clear sky on the left and then the deep clouds on the right. A really nice panorama just uh, eking into the city there. And the rowers were out, rain or shine, mainly shine, but also rain. The key point is there's no wind. They were out as usual. And here's the birds. It wasn't just me off to work. Look at them go. Little guys heading into the city to their city offices for work. And just a couple more shots from around the city, walking away from work this time. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Do I stop? Do I go? Ah, oh, I just took a photo. And now we're going to jump back to the question I asked at the start of the clip. Is this water or is it fire? What was your guess? I'm going to tell you now, it's water. There's these ladders to help you get out of the harbour if you happen to fall in there and they illuminate them in red. It looks pretty effective. You'd certainly be able to find it if you're swimming around, thrashing around blindly in the water at night. But also make some cool shots with the reflections in the water, as you can see there. Cool, eh? So it was water. And before we take off, I'm going to show you my favorite photo from the week. And it was this one here of the Albatross Fountain at Fairipo Lagoon in Wellington, Te Whanganui Atara. This statue has been there for decades. It was by Tanya Ashkin. And it's actually quite tricky to get an angle on, so I was pretty pleased to get a nice photo of it for a change and that concludes the photos of the week for this week if you want to check out other episodes of photos of the week you can do so right here there's a couple of goodies otherwise as always thank you very much we'll catch you next time see ya <laughs>